Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video on Azure, I'm here to talk about how to price application gateway from Azure Pricing Calculator. So I am on the Pricing Calculator page which you can Google and it will take you to this location and I'm under networking and you will see that uh, you have the option of application gateway. You will pick this and uh, go to view and pick the region that you want to deploy this in. So before I show you the pricing, just to let you know that uh, application gateway is a, is a load balancer which works at the application level. So if you're looking at uh, uh, this kind of service or want to load balance uh, at this level, you can use uh, application gateway for those purposes. And after you have selected uh, your region, you have to choose a tier. So you have two tiers, one is basic and the other one is web application firewall and whichever tier you choose, the pricing will be uh, based on that. So after you have chosen the basic tier, which will give you a load balancing. Now it doesn't have the uh, web application firewall, which is an additional component uh, uh, available when you pick the uh, web option along with the load balancing. So let's look at the basic option and this you have uh, three sizes. You can pick small, you can pick medium and you can pick large. Now uh, the two components when it comes to pricing is under the basic tier is for how long these services will be running. So if I pick say small, medium, or large. One thing is that uh, for how long these services are available. So if I pick say 744 hours, which is, uh, sorry, pick that instance and pick for how long the service, so 744 hours, which is 24 seven, 31 days a month, you're paying. Uh, I will also change the currency. So let me change it to Canadian dollar. So the first component is for how long these services are running. Now this kind of pass services, so there is no way of uh, shutting it off. So until it's running, you'll be charged say 2857. And the other component is that how much data it is processing. So first thing is what size you choose under the basic tier. And I've chosen basic, how long this gateway is running and how much data you're processing or this load balancer will be processing. So if I use one terabyte, you're paying 1049 and you'll be charged uh, say around about uh, 3906 uh, per month. Now the other option is the medium and the large. Now again, uh, the first component, you need to check uh, for how long the services are running. If you pick medium, it's 7999. Uh, you have better SLAs as compared to the small version. And then, as you can see, that for first 10 terabyte of data processed, there is no charge. So if I let me move this to 10, you'll see that the price remains zero. But as soon as I move it to say 11 terabyte, so it's one terabyte uh, per month additional on top of 10 terabyte, I'll be charged $9.18. So your cost will be based on for how long your gateway hours is running and the data processed uh, more than terabyte, 10 terabyte per terabyte, you're charged $9.18. And the third option is the large size in which there is no charge for data processing. So it doesn't matter how much data this load balancer is processing or this application gateway is processing, you'll be only charged for uh, how long this uh, service is running, which is around what, 365.69, right? So again, you have a basic tier in which you have uh, three sizes available, small, medium, and large, and you'll be charged for how long these services are available and how much data is being processed. Now, if you have additional functionality, as I mentioned that, if you want to have WAF also, if you pick WAF tier, application gateway, the load balancer is part of that. And in this also, you have two tiers. You have a medium and you have a large. And uh, medium again, you're charged for how long the service is running. And anything more than 10 terabyte, you'll be charged. The price is same uh, as the medium in the, in the basic tier. And if you go to the large, you will see that there is no charge for data processing for the large instance. So that is how it is priced. So just to... Uh, 
summarize to price this out uh, this load balancer you have two tier basic and uh, web application firewall if you go with the basic uh, it is just a load balancing uh, which it will do if you go with the WAF it will also give you the application uh, gateway load balancer as well as WAF functionality included in this if you want to have that kind of security for your web application and then you also have to choose what tier you want in basic you have small medium and large uh, and uh, and if you go with the WAF option, you have a medium and large option. Large doesn't have any charge for the data processing, only for how long this gateway will be running within, uh, within Azure. And if you go with the other option, which is basic or medium, you'll be charged uh, the data accordingly. So I hope this gives you an idea about uh, how to price out application gateway with or without WAF in Azure environment. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.